Hey guys, Reckless Rush here, back with another video, and welcome to part 2 of our series, Rush to Diamond. So continuing from where we left off, we're now Silver 4, and this is just to show you the deck again. And since I have so, many, so much gold here, I might as well just spend it, see what we get. I'm really hoping to get, obviously, any Reckless Rush cards so we can add it to our collection here. But we'll see, hope for the best, never know what you might get. Any card that's not Reckless Rush related is basically worth of zero value to me. So that kind of sucks. Come on, at least one card. Oh, Gifted, that's a really good draw actually. I'm really happy with that draw. Nothing. Oh, we got double lime limbs there, but we're not going to put it to any use, so unfortunate. Fawn is actually not the worst card, but like I said, not we're not going to use it for Reckless Rush, so it doesn't really matter. Another Gifted! That's really lucky. Honestly, if I could just get all Gifted, I wouldn't be- I wouldn't mind. Oh, another Fawn. Okay, we'll get up to 300, I guess. 300 seems fine. Once we get 300 gold, then we will stop. Execution, personal servers, interesting. Good for theory crafting, it's not the worst. Okay, so yeah, now if we check we check again, we can actually upgrade our gifted here. It's perfect. So we're going to upgrade our gifted here. We have a level 3 card already, so this is really good for us. Okay, so I don't want to make these videos too long, so I'm going to just start playing. I'm just hoping to get in two games for today, and then we'll see. Again, I don't know what to make out of this series yet. I'm guess um, if, if I have the time, I would like to make this a daily series, but... Up in, until then, I really don't know. So let me know if you have any ideas. More than happy to to listen. Okay, so four mana. I have a decent hand here with this. Not what I'm looking for really, but uh, it's still like decent. So they played a. Um, they actually wasted one mana there. It's good to know. I'm going to cycle this. Yeah, I'm going to cycle this. We got. Our, we get to use our level three gifted. Okay, perfect. So we're going to use Doppel here. And then we are going to use Gifted. So um, basically since they played this on right, since, well they didn't play it, but it RNG'd landed to the right hand side, I'm going to also pressure the right hand side. The reason being is that this pretty much tells them to attack the right hand side and then I can take over left hand side. That's the idea here. I could have also used Gifted first since the, and then Doppel second if I wanted my Gifted to, if I wanted Gifted to survive in a way. But this is like still really good, so no complaints here. So I have a choice between Shady Girl and Potion here. I actually like both these cards. They're both also equal level. I don't think I'm going to use Potion here just because I don't have enough front line. If, if, if this token was one more higher, it'd be really good here, but I'm going to cycle. Yeah, I'll cycle first because Potion's actually not like that bad, so we'll cycle first. Shady Girl here is pretty good. Head start. The reason why I didn't want a Shady Ghoul on the left hand side is because you want to save your corners for stronger cards. So if Head Start landed in the corner, that would have been fine because it's like pretty strong, three strength. But I don't want my Shady Ghoul, which is a one strength card, to be on the, on the sidelines there. So they actually take over with Harvesters. They take a card that's really good. They're also going to take Doppel if I don't stop them. But, you know. It doesn't really matter to us if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna play aggressively here. I kinda wanna just play here, I think. I could also play green prototypes, but I kinda wanna save it. So I'll just play this, it's fine. The reason why I don't really care about this is because it's going to take a while for them to cycle back to oh right, it has to be a, ta a weaker unit, so it doesn't even work. But I don't care about that because they have to cycle back to the actual card that they copy and 
I don't think they'll. I don't think that the game will last that long. So this this is fine. Okay, it's a really slow card here. This is it would have been really good if I played Hysteria. So I see actually a lot of time what these lower lower um, ranked players do. They they play a lot of these like Moonlit Airy decks. The problem is they're not actually that great. Like you can see how I have way more pressure, tempo, everything on the board, and they're pretty much lacking here. So yeah, we're just gonna take over the board here. I want to cycle this because I don't see any value in it. Yeah, I don't see any value. This is so good. I need to play Gifted because it's my only level three card in the deck. It's so much value. So I'm going to play this for sure. And then I guess we can play Snow Mason's Green Prototypes. That part you can decide. So this is fine. It's kind of interesting. You can get four strength here. I guess I'll play like this. This is weird, but I'm going to play like this because I don't I kind of don't want to just force everything to only on one side. And it wouldn't make sense. I couldn't play green prototypes anywhere else. I played Snow Masons on the right hand side there, so Pretty much I'm hoping that this goes in and then, you know, we can maybe buff it with Potion. Potion's coming very soon and then we can just finish with Forgotten Souls. Oh man, that's scary. Oh man, that's super scary. Oh man, could actually lose. <laughs> okay, so this is, um, this is a little bit scary. The only way I win here ever is with pretty much forgotten souls there's yeah there's no other card i don't have a two strength runner uh, this card doesn't see any play here so i'm going to cycle this oh uh, yeah i drew devastators that's uh that's not like the best but right now all i have to do is defend so i'm going to use all these three cards just to defend and the best way to do it is i need the shady goal if it's possible to bounce up so i'm going to play this yes so i'm going to play this like this And I'm going to play Shady Ghoul. I needed to expend the damage. It bounced up. That's pretty good. And I can just play this here. It should be fine. So I drew Forgotten Souls after. Kind of sucks. But what's good about this is that this unit is actually blocking them. They can't even use Forgotten Souls here unless they have like Snow Mason's Forgotten Souls. And that, that's actually lethal. Or personal servers with the RNG bounce on this. Because they just use Potion of Growth, so I know I'm safe from things like that. Yeah, okay, that's game. So that's really the only time you want to defend as Rush, when you know that you don't, you like, have to defend pretty much. It's like your only option, otherwise you just lose. That's a nice game there. Also, I noticed that in the comment section, some of you pointed out a couple of misplays. It's actually really good if you guys like say misplays in the chat, not only for myself, but also because it's good for like other people watching the video, like newer players, if they don't catch those misplays, it's also like really good for that. So if you ever catch any misplays, just you might as well feel free to just say it in the chat. And then I'll, I always check the comments anyways. So there's always like a lot of room to consider like if something's a misplay or not, because not every play is perfect, right? Okay, so here I'm probably going to just play this. I really would like to play for Devastators, but there's no guarantee I'll be defended. So I'm going to cycle Forgotten Souls first. Okay, it's actually not bad because I can prototype Devastators next turn. I'm just going to hope to... I'm just going to play these two cards here. Now, how do I want to play it? I know that this is going to attack this. And basically, I want to say this, something like this would be fine. Like... I don't want to use Doppelbox to block off potential Devastators, but at the same time, yeah, this is actually not that bad. Depending on where this bounces will actually determine what happens next, because this will, yeah, this will kill this here, and then they'll be focused on the right-hand side, so I can actually abuse left-hand side next turn. Ooh, this is so good. They lose out so much pressure here just by doing that. This kind of play here, Makes them lose out a lot. Here, because I don't have any open any opening for Devastators, I'm actually going to Snow Masons. Snow Masons and then probably Prototypes just to defend. So... 
something like that. Yeah, that, that works. And then I can recycle restless ghosts. So now it's like, where do you want to play green prototypes? I actually, since this unit is so buffed, I actually kind of want to defend it. Also keep in mind, they played this on um, turn five, mana five turn, when I had already a, quite a bit of pressure on them. So that tells me that they don't have really the resources to defend. And like you can see, they don't really have the resources to defend here. So yeah, it's looking like a game, good game. There's a lot of plays you can make here. Honestly, Devastators like Devastators looks so tempting because you can Devastators gifted, but I actually don't think it's the play here because I have the chip cards to finish the game anyways. Right here, all you have to do, you don't even have to potion, you just have to keep frontline, but like keep board because then you can just finish with basically any card here. So something like this is fine. I can finish with Forgotten Souls gifted, Walt Zebra Pause, or even Restless. And again, like for them to clear this is really hard. They would have to clear all of these three, plus the token unit that bounces off from this. Yeah, this is looking like a good game. You can tell like there's a factor that plays into the game that's aside from what you actually have in your hand. Just from what they're playing, like if they played this on mana five, when they're already losing the board, you can see how slow their deck is. Like they have no movement cards here. They just have all just like buff cards, which is a cool deck. And it's like, it sounds really good on paper, but like Rush just will destroy you if you don't have the cards to defend. So yeah, that, that will be it for the part two of the series. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed any misplays, let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Peace.